One of the things a lot of us have are powered speakers. In this particular case, I've got the American Audio CPX-10A right here. Great little cabinet, but if I'd like to use this, it's kind of a wireless speaker. I plug it into the power, but say I want to be able to transmit music from my cell phone via Bluetooth. Well, a lot of the powered speakers that we know and love, we can get into those fairly inexpensively, but they don't come with Bluetooth music compatibility. A lot of the speakers that you're getting out there right now will have Bluetooth, but they're using that to program the speakers or to set them up, and they're really not doing Bluetooth audio. So, I love my American Audio CPX-10A. I wanted to have a Bluetooth option. So I went and got this home spot, ordered this the other day. It's a little $25 Bluetooth receiver. And I'm going to open this up and we're going to just hook this up in somewhat real time and pair it up and we're going to try to get this working while you're watching. The receiver itself is just this little square, just a tiny little guy. It comes with a USB power cable. You can plug this into a laptop or in this case, we have the little adapter. And then the other end is a micro USB. So if I needed to, I could use it to charge my cell phone, but I need it for Bluetooth right now. The other components of this, we have an audio out, which is an eighth inch stereo jack. And then it has the little pairing button. In the case of my CPX 10A, I have got RCAs in. So I'm going to choose the cable that uses eighth inch on one side and RCA on the other. It also comes with eighth inch to eighth inch male stereo there. If you had that situation, which many power speakers also have, in this particular case, it does not have that. I'm going to put this up here once we get done, but I'm gonna pair it down here. So we're plugged in and to tell that we have power, there's a little blue LED flashing in the front and I'm guessing it's flashing telling me that it isn't it isn't connected to anything. I hit the little pair button on the back of the little device and then it broadcasts the ability to connect to it. On my cell phone, I go down to the settings and into the Bluetooth, click scan, and there it shows up. A GT BT receiver 23 is what this is, and I don't, so I can connect to that. And there it's connected. Now I will go find my music. Make sure my volumes are down so I'm not going to blow up blare. Let's see. There we are. We have sound. I think it's doing a loop for us because now I want to go for a walk. And I'm going to walk that way and I'm going to walk a distance away. I'm going to yell out my distance away. Because we're this is Bluetooth technology now. We're gonna put this up here on top. That way you can hear if it's going to start to, to fuss. I'm gonna hold this at chest level and I'm going to be walking out of this room, through the door, into the main part of the warehouse, and I'll be yelling back the distances that I'm away from it. So hopefully we can find out how far away before we lose that signal. Here we go. I'm four feet away. We're at 10 feet away right now, 10 feet away. Four.
and we shut it off. So, cool little Bluetooth receiver. It's called the HomeSpot NFC, Enable Bluetooth Audio Receiver with sound output. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check that out, but it's kind of a cool little thing. And for $25, this became a Bluetooth speaker. I could have this and I could split it with the RCA into two, or I could run into one and then run a jumper to the next one if I wanted to. There's just a lot of capability, but I was about 60 feet away. I was in a second room with walls and such and gear between me and this, and it came through quite well. So kind of a neat little device. This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News.